Thank you for coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my God, it was fun, no? Yeah, hello, Mama. What? Mama, please do everything to keep her safe, okay? I'm coming right away. Yes, I'm coming. Jetro, uh, where are you going? Excuse me, Jetro! Can I go with you? There'll be no need for that. You can't go through all this pain alone. She's my responsibility. Alright? Don't worry, once I take care of everything, I'll send for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you call me. Okay? Of course I'll call you. Mm -hmm. I love you, okay? I love you too. Take care. Take care. So tell me. Did he lie to me or not? Am I the victim here or not? Both of you are seated here judging me without even knowing the genesis of anything. As far as I'm concerned, Jethro is the father of my baby and I'm not ready to bring this child up alone. Mm. Victim or no victim until you fall, you be mugu. Just accept it. But as for raising of your child and taking care of you, if you think that Jethro will be able to take care of you and your child, think again. Because for your information, the gold mine you think you came here to dig, there is nothing there. Jethro has lost his job. He does not have a job anymore. As a matter of fact, he does not know his left from his right. The guy is as confused as you right now. What am I even saying? <laughs> You know what? Stay. Come and suffer. You want to do it. Anyway, no problem. I also lost my job. Because I wasn't concentrated. I mean, I'm pregnant. Where do you expect me to look for a job in this condition? Anyway, I've come to stay. I'm going nowhere. Madam, I beg, shut up your mouth every time. Pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy. For your information, I resigned from my own job. Yes, I was a doctor. But the good thing is, I can always get a good job in any hospital. I will be able to take care of myself and Jethro, as long as he's ready to leave these two fools looking at me. No, the Alas. Odeo. Eh, eh. Oh, wow. Odeo. Don't insult me. Oh. Don't insult me. Eh, caretaker. Why you are listing the people you want to take care of? You have to include me because as for leaving this house, go possible. I am here to stay. Choose less women. Take care of who? Look at these shameless things looking at me. Nah. When I look at you sometimes, I just nah. laugh. Laugh nah. what? Because you're confused. Really? You're lost. How? Your village people know say you day here. Okay. Does your village people know Jethro? Mm. No. You know, never even sabi anything. I am not ready to share my husband with any of you. Hey, hey, hey. You better get that into your head. Hey, who is your husband? Jethro. Auntie, Auntie Victim. Who is your husband? That's your husband. Because you are pregnant. Who is your husband? Who are we even sure Jethro is the owner of that pregnancy? That's if not uh, Akuna Akuna you were doing in camp. I understand you have been eager to see me. Yes, sir. What is the problem? My husband is the problem. It's been two days now he traveled and I've not been able to reach him. So I came to find out because I know he went on assignment for the company. So I came to find out if he's okay. 
if the company has heard from him, if he's fine, where he is. If everything is fine, I'm just worried. If I heard you right, madam, your husband traveled two yeah. days ago, right? Yes, sir. He's on a special assignment. And I'm sure once he gets to his destination, he will call you. Um, I, I completely understand the part of the special assignment because I was not allowed to have quality time with my husband after our wedding, which I completely understand because he had to go on a very special assignment, like you said. But what I don't get is the fact that I've been calling my husband since he traveled. At first, his phones were ringing. He rang and rang, but he didn't pick. At some point, it stopped ringing, which got me seriously worried. And now I came, like I said, to find out if the company knows of his whereabouts, if he's fine, if it's okay, so I would at least stop worrying. Yes, that is why I came. I understand your fear and worry, madam. But let me tell you that after 48 hours, if we cannot hear from him, we shall place a missing person alert. Um, if I heard you correctly, sir, you have not heard from my husband since he traveled. Madam, you have nothing to worry about. Like I said, once he settles down, he will call the company and as well call you. Okay. What are you telling me about the phone? You're traveling? Please, listen. Listen, I understand everyone wants me to know this is how my life is going to be. It's okay. Oh, I get it. But what I don't get is the fact that I'll be here and I don't know how my husband is doing, if he's fine, if he's okay, and you expect me to be fine. Huh. I don't even know if this man is alive or God forbid dead. God forbid! Oh, really? God forbid. But I don't know how he is. I don't know if my husband is okay oh, or if he's not God, fine. Amanda, I understand your fears and concern. I do, my darling. But look at it this way. Just stay calm, okay? Stay calm. Even if you travel there now, I'm sure Jeju will not be happy to see you. The ND asked you to stay calm. Let him get across to the departmental head. Then he'll get back to you. Why don't you just stay calm and allow this men do their work? How would you tell me to stay calm? No, really, stay calm. Just sit and do nothing. <sighs> when I'm feeling this uneasy. Babes, you know whenever I feel this uneasy about anything, there is something definitely wrong. I know. So you don't expect me to sit down and fold my hands and expect my husband to walk in any moment? Oh, my darling. I'm supposed to go out there and find out what is going on with this man. Oh, all right. You are right. I understand your fears and concerns. I'm very certain that Jetro will not be happy to see you there. Eh? You married an engineer. This is the life you chose. Learn how to live with it. Stay calm for Christ's sake. And so, in essence, what are you saying? <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, let's wait for one day or two. If we did not hear from him, then you cannot travel. Hmm? Think about it. Don't look at me that way. Look at you. You're traveling. Look at you. Do you want to move, move, move out? Look at the bundle of bag you're carrying. And what is wrong with my boss? He looked like you want to go and live with him there. That's what he looks. Babes are bigger, bigger, bigger. I didn't have time to start looking for a small boss. I had to throw everything into the box. Then you stress me. Stress you out, sir. Then I like this, they take you your own therapy. I'm stressing you. You're stressing me out now. <sighs> I left my office to come through for you and you call it stress. It's okay. No wahala, let me find trouble. So you mean I shouldn't go? Don't go. Stay put. 
one day all this will be safe. You do not hear from him. You can't travel. Hmm? Any news? So, what happened? So, I want you to do all you can and find him. We need to know what happened to him. It is very important. Right, please do. That won't be necessary. You asked me to come. Uh, any news? It is in respect of the information you came asking for. Okay. We have been able to reach your husband. Oh, God. How is he? His car had a little issue, but he's fine. I want you to relax. He will reach you when he can. Hold on, sir. I, I didn't quite get you there. You said this car had a little issue. And, I mean, what are you trying to say? Is my husband okay? That's what I want to know. Your husband is okay. His car broke down. Mm -hmm. He had it fixed in the process. He lost his phone. I want you to relax and be patient. He will call you when he can. <laughs> Um, sir, really, uh, with all due respect, this whole thing is not adding up. I, I don't get you. What, what exactly happened? I mean, is he fine? How? Where? When? What? What, what really happened? Do I have any reason to lie to you? I'm not saying you're lying. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying you, you've not really told Mother. me like... Go home. Relax. Your husband will call you when he can. You are sure he's okay, right? He called you himself, like you said. Absolutely. I'm fine. Okay, can I talk to him on the same line he called you with? You are handsome. So good, but your heart breaks. Pleasure you want, it gives you joy. You don't care about people, emotion is a player. He's a player. Engineer, everything is not a joke. If I'm not a turn, it will be He's a player. He's a player. Everything's not a joke. If I'm not a turn, it will be He's a player, engineer. Everything's not a joke. If I'm not a turn, it will be engineer. What is wrong with you? One more. You don't care. You don't think before you act. Something is wrong Somewhere Something is wrong Somewhere He's a player Chacho, why would you do this to me? Ah! Baby, why would you do this to me? You do even love me Oh, did you, did you ever love me? You keep springing off surprises every day. Every day, every day, you keep springing off surprises. I, I don't deserve this. Please. 
This is not love. This is not love. <sighs> Did you ever love me, Jethro? <sighs> Did you ever love me? Because I am not feeling this. This is this is not love. <sighs> this is not the love you promised me. So I did the burial, after which I went home. I was not expecting you. That's it, bro. What's good? Hey. I'm fine though. What's going on? Sit down. Nah, your place is beautiful. Oh, thank yeah? you very much. Sorry, before I say anything, let me remove this eyeglass. So I'll person. be able to see you very well. Can we get funny your Fuma? Eh? Sorry, nah, thank you very much. Eh? Thank you very much. God bless you. See, I insist that my son bring me to your house. So I will personally thank you. Eh? Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, no, 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 God bless you. Stand hey, stand you stand me. Do you know what you did for us? Hi. No, no, no. Thank you. Hi. Thank you very much. God will bless you. Eh? For securing a job for my son in your company. Nice. In your construction company. How do you see? It's not everybody. It's not everybody that can do it. Eh? You are a man. Thank you very much. God bless you. Right. May God <laughs> raise people from all angles of the earth to fair for you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Dalo, so I am so happy. Dalo, uh, Mama, it's, 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 it's nothing. You know, if securing a job for Maxwell is the best thing I can do for him as a friend. Why not? You know, what are friends for if not for the income? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hey. Hey. This house. I hope there is a woman in this house. Why not? Eh? Now. Now. I'm going to cook I'm hungry. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. I will go and do that. Let me go. I know where the kitchen is. Don't worry yourself. Let me go and do it. Let's go. Mama, sit down. Thank you very much. Oh. I didn't even stick it anywhere. Open it. So what is this? 
have I been fired? Since you decided to embark on a vacation without the company's permission, you were transferred to Kogi State. Why at Kogi State you disappeared? You barely stayed at the office. From there you moved over to Lagos. While still in Lagos, you never stayed at the office. You disappeared as well. From Lagos, you came here in a summer. You have become a problem to yourself. A lot is going on in my life right now. Please. A lot of us are passing through something, but duty comes before self. Sir, I have a duty to carry out for my friend. That's what I've been running around for since. Here is your psychological evaluation. It shows that you are mentally traumatized from the time you were transferred to Kogi State. You embark on a secret mission for your therapy. Even then, you didn't complete your therapy. You became a nuisance, causing one problem here and there. We can no longer control your excesses. Like I said, I, I have a duty to carry out for my friend. But that, that's what I've been doing since, please. I understand. Duty comes before self. Since you have decided to do things your own way. The company, we have no other option than kick you out. So please, if you kick me out, where do I go to? Please, I beg you. I don't have any other job than this. This is what I love doing. This, 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 this is what, what I'm due for. Please, I, I beg you. Think about this, sir. Please. Please. I have just told you my mind. If you will excuse me, I'm very busy. So, 
Because of what Mama told you, you had to return back to your first wife, abandoning your third wife. Exactly. You are a joke, bro. I don't get it. Why do you just enjoy falling with the feelings of these women? Why gathering women to marry them? What for? No, there must be a reason. What's the reason? A person says there's a reason. Uh, I know I'm not um, entirely right, but women are not better either. All right? They are worse. I mean, they're the same everywhere. I'm not proud of what I did, so I, I just had to pick every other relationship and went back to my wife so I don't get to hurt someone else. Hmm. And now that you lost your job, what do you intend to do? What next? I mean, thank God, miraculously, somehow you were able to maintain your mental health. I mean, if you allow this, con this continue in your family, if it persists, I'm afraid you will have to lose it. You will lose it totally. So what do you advise I do now? Commit suicide. Excuse me? Kill yourself. My darling, lovely sister. How are you doing and how is it doing? I am not fine. I'm beginning to develop OCD. My mental health is at stake. This is too much for me to bear. Um, please, just take it easy. From the sound of your voice, I can feel so much pain in your innards. Pain? Mama, I'm becoming suicidal. Please, you can see my sister. Don't, don't, don't just go to that. Don't go there, okay? Just calm down and tell me all about it. As your only sister, I raised you when our parents died. And I know much about you. Tell me, okay? And I can give you my advice. Mama, I am trying to wrap my head around all these happenings in this house. When I came into this house, I met Amanda. Jethro's first wife. And then I saw Carol, the third wife. Mama, what is it with men and women? Is this achievable quest for more women? It's beyond comprehension. One day I'll wake up and see over 500 women in this house. And I swear to God, Mama, that day I will kill him. I will dump my license as a doctor and I will commit murder. Cassie! Cassie! You know, it's actually very good to, to see you again. So, Carol, I know you're mad at me for everything that happened. You have every right to be. But the truth is, I'm truly sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for everything I did. So when are we expecting the fourth? Or the fifth? Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth? Because it's beginning to look like a hobby. Come on, it can't be my hobby. All right, it's not. Listen, everything happened for a reason. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, okay? for a reason that you are not proud of, right? Exactly. So for that reason, you go about playing with people's lives and toiling with their emotions. I mean, if you had wanted a free affair, there are so many women that would have just 
had an affair with you and just walk away. But what did you do? You went about on a marriage spree. You got married to all of us and brought us under one roof. Wasn't my plan. That was way too far. Wasn't my plan. Tell me about it. What was your plan? Um, I hate myself right now. Come on, you don't, you don't I hate myself! You don't need to hate yourself. Because I am pregnant I... for you. Jeez. Please don't say this. Don't, 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 don't bring down your voice. All right? I, I, I don't want Amanda to hear this. I, I don't need her to find out that you're... You don't want Amanda to hear this. Jesus Jesus Christ. No, what in the name of I cannot control my manhood is going on here? Jethro, what is this? No, is this the life you promised me? No. Is this what I sacrificed everything for? No, no. no. To bring in riffraffs to occupy space for me in this house? Uh, what kind of marriage is this? So you told them you want yourself. Uh, you you tell her you're a riffraff now. So you're not what? afraid. You went to carry, marry how many wives? Did you tell me the other women in the picture? No, 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 please! Um, uh, um, um, what is going please, on here? Please, 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 stop! Ah! Go! Stop! Hey, Jesus! Did you tell me? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Jesus! Stop him out of here! Help! Did you tell me? Hey! Did you tell me? Yeah! Yeah! Did you tell me? Ah! 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 Mountain. What is that? Ah, what is it? Why are you knocking like somebody who is being chased by a ghost? Are you okay? Madam, I want to sleep. Uh -huh. I want to sleep in my husband's room. Husband. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? What was that? Because the last time I checked, you don't have a husband in this house. <laughs> hey, you are one homeless pregnant woman who just gave accommodation that is crossing our boundaries. Yes, my darling, you're beginning to cross your boundaries. Thank mm. God you said I am pregnant. Mm. I want to sleep in my baby's father's room. First of all, this is not your baby's father's room. <laughs> your baby's father's room, I left. What am I even saying? My husband is not the father of the child. <laughs> you think I don't know? Auntie O.C., with what you've just done this night, mm. you have provoked me. Mm. As a matter of fact, because of the good Christian mm. that I am, mm. I will allow you to sleep in this house today. But tomorrow morning, Auntie, go and look for the father of this child <laughs> and give this child to that man. <laughs> now get out, please. I want to sleep. Madam, stay, stay, stay here. I said I want to sleep. Excuse I, me, let me, let me pass. I don't know, chef, for what coming? I go here, where me? Did you touch me? I just did. Hey, God. This woman, not because you are pregnant, you'll be looking for trouble. Uh, yeah. I will beat you. Uh, beat me. I will beat you. Beat me. Your child will majestically come out of the tummy. I ain't shame. I ain't shame. I ain't shame. I ain't shame. Come and talk to this mad woman you call your wife. And the prodigal, uh, wayward husband finally decided to join the conversation. Tell this mad woman that I don't know where you picked her up from to respect herself. I left the master room for you and your cohorts, you and your side chicks. Still, they did not they, they did not have peace. They decided to follow me to my room. Tell her that this is not her room. We have five rooms in this house. She should go and manage any of them. If there is no room, go to the gate man's room and sleep. What is it? Get on them. Challenge she What's the problem? What do you, why, why are you here? Say so I want to sleep. Hmm. And is this not where you're sleeping? Hmm. Is this the way you're sleeping? Auntie. My baby needs his father. Excuse right. you. Let her sleep. Yeah. Are you Thank mad? You. No, Jethro, are you mad? No, I'm not. Share your way. I feel like you change your way. Are you in this room? Mm. She's, she's running after you. Oh. Uncle Way, hot pants. Mm. She is running after you. Uncle Way, hot pants. Uh, so Don't you see she's running after you? Can't you tell her to follow you to wherever you're coming from? Eh? I have decided to leave this. Leave this wayward man for you people. Still, you people will not give me peace. No problem. Auntie, please follow yeah, this man and get out of this place. Let's go now. You're not here, Abby. Let's go to where you are. Eh, eh, eh. Mumu, they say go to where you are. What is wrong with this woman? I want to buy sound. Go ahead, tell you. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Jethro! Jethro! Why is he getting you? Jethro! Jethro! Whoa, whoa, man. Oh, 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 let me, you're killing me, you're killing me. Jethro! Hey, my baby needs you. Jethro! Ah, this woman. Hey, hey, hey. Jethro, why are you not
Amanda what? Amanda what? There will be no peace for you in this house. Since you have decided that I will not sleep in this house, you will not sleep either. Now get ready. My friend, get ready because this is how I will be waking you up every day of your life in this house. Useless man. I wake you up in the morning like this. If you sleep in the afternoon, I wake you up like this. In the night, I wake you up like this. So there will be no sleep for the weekend. Just like the Bible said. Since you have decided that I will not sleep, you and those riffraffs you brought into this house as wives. Since you have decided that I will not have peace in this house, Jethro, Jethro, there will be no peace for you until you leave this house for me. You stupid man. What, what, did I, what did I do to you to deserve this? No, why, why, why would you treat me like this now? Why? Why, why? why would you pour me this kind of water? Yeah, this is English. I, 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 I was just talking about it. That's one of them. Side, side chicks. What's going on here? Why is everywhere wet like this? Why is everywhere wet? I'm good now. Is it not this, this weekend yeah, that, that, that just poured me cold water this ceremony? Eh? Have, have I done anything wrong to have three wives? There are people out there that have over, over ten wives and they're still happy. Eh? What, what, what's, what's the meaning of this? Uh, what's the temperature of the water? Very cold water of this early morning. Very cold water. You can imagine. Only cold water? Yes. This Amanda is a very stupid person. I'm highly disappointed in her. Huh? She should have poured you acid. Yes. If I was in her shoes, I would pour you nitro oxide. Useless person. Come and clean this place. I don't know your usefulness in this house. Caro! Get a mop. Come and mop this place. Stop looking at me. Get mop and come and clean this place. I'll be waiting for you upstairs. Anyway, I'll be waiting upstairs for you for my breakfast. Where is it? Where is what? My breakfast. Wait, are you talking to me? Uh -uh. Is there any other bloody civilian in this city? Of course I'm talking to you. Barak Pekin, they follow you talk. You see, they talk nonsense. Barak Pekin? I beg you, get my breakfast. Wait, which of the Barak one? The one that could not face Boko Haram, but the one that could not chest war, but can chest man. You're not ashamed of yourself. Mm. And you, I stand up here. You want food, right? Yes. Madam, will you get up and go and get me food to eat? Mm. Mm. You want food? Yes. Don't worry. I'll make you your last supper. Last supper, my food! Thinking it's only this Cassie girl that you have to deal with. Not knowing there is equally a Caro that is pregnant for Jethro. Baby girl, can't you see that this man doesn't love you? He just wanted a trophy wife and he got you. Can't you see? Look at you, you're bigger than all of this. If you're not fighting Caro today, you're fighting Cassie tomorrow. Baby girl, your mental health is at stake. It's not like you have anything to gain in all of this. Right now, you're the one paying the bills. Can you please leave this sham you call marriage and start afresh? Come on, baby girl. You're bigger than all of this. You are. <laughs> um... Stella, if I heard you correctly, you're saying I should leave my marriage. Yes! You for mean, your mental 
else? I should walk out of my marriage. Obviously. Oh, really? Come on. Why? You used to be a very wonderful banker. Doing so well in the banking sector. Look at what has become of you. It's not like he, he has the money to throw around. You are the one footing the bills right now. I tell you again, as your friend, Jethro is not worth all of this pains. He is not. Cassie is, is a doctor. I can swear with my life that any patient that she is treating right now is obviously going to die. Or is it Karu, that runaway soldier? Come on. One week, one trouble. One day, one boza. Sarah, I need you to understand something. Me leaving this marriage is not possible. As a matter of fact, it is not going to happen. Because I have been here. I was here before these two riffraffs. These intruders, these invaders invaded our marriage. I have been here. I was here and I'm still going to be here. This man married me legally. In every way possible, in every place. Babes, he married me in the court. He married me traditionally. He married me in the church. So there is no way I am going to walk out of my marriage and allow two, two thieves, two intruders, two invaders, Ndo Shidi, to take my husband. It is not going to happen. Yeah? Amanda. Amanda. As a therapist, for your mental health, that's all I care about. If you're going to be bothered about what people will say, come on. Time has, has passed when people care about what one is going. If it's not working, you pull out. Eh, 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 eh. Stella, 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 Stella. Madam therapist, I am not your patient. I am not your client. And I cannot remember asking for your services. I don't want to have a problem with you. I told you. Just stop it. You keep saying mental health, mental health, mental health. Whose mental health are you talking about? Whose mental health are you talking about? You Is it not? Hey, hey, did I beg you? Is your own having problems? Are you having problems with your pro mental health? <sighs> stop it, those. Just stop it. I man no transfer aggression give you. <sighs> Amanda. Has it gotten this bad? Has it gotten this worse? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can't you see the picture? What picture? What are you doing here? I just came to clear my head. To clear your head indeed. Obviously, you need a mental revalidation. What was that supposed to mean? What it means is that I am highly disappointed in you. Look at you, Jethro. You used to be a very hardworking man. Look at the mess you've made out of your life. Having three wives with nothing to show for it. Jobless and useless. Look at you. I don't know why you're sounding like this. I'm not proud of what I did. At least I apologized. You apologized? <laughs> did I hear you say you apologized? Yes, I did. Yes, I can see. Can apology mend the heart and the mental health of those women you've rendered useless? Can apology fix back the lives you've ruined? Jethro, it is not all about apology. No, it is not. Those women, their lives has been ruined. Their career is at stake just because of you couldn't put your shit together. I am disappointed. Very, very disappointed. In fact, what am I even saying? You know what? Karma is a bitch. Whatever you sow is what you will reap. 
Get out from my house. Are you asking me out of your house? I said get out! You came to clear your head indeed. You're obviously running mad. Three wives with nothing to show for it. Rubbish. Many are mad or few are roaming. I'm mad that talking to you, you stupid. I said, go and put on the list. Uh, I'm hot, I need to use the AC. Uh, go and put it on. What list are you talking about, madam? Did you buy any list for me? No, who owns the lister? Mm. You want me to put on the lister? Mm. Well, the lister is mine. The diesel inside is mine. Mm. My darling, if you're feeling so hot, that door to hellfire is open. Sort yourself out. Mm. Excuse me. Look, I don't care. Go, go and put it on. Put on. Uh, hey. Excuse you. What did you say? Put on the list. I don't care if it belongs well, to you I or not. I will not put it on. Really? Yes. Okay. Come because across, it's mine. Let me see. Pass, you let think me you see can now. come into my husband's house and use everything that belongs to me? And I'll just sit down. It belongs to all of us. Excuse not you. Not for you alone. Well, I'm going to ask your husband. I bought it with my money. You yes. Your money. Uh, yes. Who cares? Excuse me, please. Yes. Go back and own the list. My name is hot. Yes. My darling, who got you pregnant? No, who got you pregnant? Do I look like Jethro? My friend, go and tell Jethro to take care of you. When you were taking, snatching somebody's house, I think he go snatch on thing. You were thinking you were snatching o o Odogu. You snatched Odiegu, my hey, sister. Hey, hey, Excuse hey, hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what, what, what's going on here? Talk of Odiegu. What, 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 what's going on here? Uh, Can't I have peace in my own house? What all this noise okay. for? Oh, please, can you tell your association of side chicks to respect themselves? Mm. Please. Mm. I want peace. Mm. Tame your dogs. For God's sake, why can't I have peace in my own house? What's going on? What's all this noise for? We just asked her to own the lister. I mean, look at me now. My baby is hot. Amanda, ah. Why? Why? why Are hot? you this weekend? Can't you see she's carrying my child? Just oh, put on the gen so that she can change and, and relax with the baby. What, what's all this did for? did I hear you? Well, what did you just say now? I said she's carrying my child. My wife is carrying my oh, child. Oh, your child? Yes, my child. Is it my child? Can I ask you a question? What question is is the list are yours? Yes, it's mine. Who bought it? This is my house. This is your house. Your old Jethro, Jethro, you're Jethro, you're, you're talking up. You're talking back at me. How? Your house, right? Go yeah. on it now. Well, I'll delete that. No, no I'll go back there. My house, my property. Oh, really? What's your problem? Then make me do it. No, Madam Susan, what is wrong with you? Did you just push me? No, don't, 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 don't push me. Are you, are you pushing me? Oh, you're protecting, protecting me. No, really, right? you're protecting me. You're not. Are you mad? Are you mad? Hey, now I see. Do you want to be is happening here? What are you doing on my, on my matrimonial bed? What does it look like? Are you the only one that owns this matrimonial bed? Every time my matrimonial bed... <laughs> this is my room! Get the hell out! Hey. Move your things and get out of my room! Eh? Ha! Amanda... Ha! Huh? Amanda, you've seen it all. Auntie, I see you like to eat bread. I've noticed. By chance, one of those times you were eating bread, did you use your brain as butter? No, did you eat bread with your brain? 
Because if you have sense, if you have anything that looks like sense inside that coconut head of yours, you will not be here. Are you mad? Hey. Are you insane? Do you want to die? Mumarogo. Am I the one that you, this bloody civilian, is talking to? <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> I am a soldier. In case you don't know, uh, 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 I go rough you. Uh, 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 I go rough you. Point of correction. Let me remind you in case you've forgotten. You are an ex, ex soldier. Ja, anytime you want to call that soldier, add, add ex to it. You're no longer a soldier. But even if you're a soldier, auntie, I will talk to you anyhow I like. I will eat your mouth. I will eat your eyes out. You think this, this, this place is a barracks? This is my matrimonial home. I'm burying you, you can do nothing because this is not barracks. You this is my matrimonial. You will eat. Ah, you will eat me and bury me. You eh? you eh? Hey! Hey! Amanda! What the fuck? Amanda! Hey, Shadow! How will you hear like that? You you know. Don't you know she's I pregnant? Don't know if you I just hold me. me. No, did you did you did you just hold me? Did you just did you just hold me? Now listen. Jetro, let this be the first and the last time you try this nonsense in your life. Because if you do it again, Jetro, if you do it again, after everything you put me through, I will eat you. I will eat you alive. Try it again and mark my words. I will kill you. What's yours? Oh yeah, my friend, get out. Get out of here. Ah, what? I Don't touch me. Ah. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm obviously taking her for Antinental. Oh, really? Of course you're supposed to take her for Antinental. Is she not your wife? Your responsibility? Well, darling, I am also your responsibility. So you have to take me to the market. Thank you. This is too much for me. I ain't fit for that shit. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa. Uh, what is the meaning of the this? The meaning of this is that you've got responsibility, mister. As your first wife, I demand and I tell you it's your obligation to take me to wherever I want to go to. Be it the market, the supermarket, the church, school, work, wherever be it. And also, if I want to go to the graveyard to bury you, you take me there. Go to the graveyard and die alone. Nobody's following you. All the first wives I know sit at home and allow the second and third wives to enjoy themselves. Busy body, be, be, be. You don't want to stay in one place. Sit your ass at home. My darling, you know the I'm funny thing. You are a side chick, but you don't look like one. Uh, As a matter of fact, you look like Yale. Uh, see monkey. Yale. See monkey. mother of the house. See monkey. Look at you. Look at red you don't that, that, even that, look that, that, that like a side chick. You look like a plantain that is almost rotting. Still you look like a rotting plantain. You look like a boss. Can you can you look like a boss? You look like a boss. 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 Shame. Who is talking? Shame on you! No, shame on side you! Side A! Side A! Oh, 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 yeah, no, 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 are you too no, aware no, that we are outside and I you are all embarrassing me? What the fuck is my problem with that? It's your disgrace. You want this. You brought this on yourself. And take it. Mm. Stupid idiot. Mm. Oh, look at who is coming. You know, it's fine! Uh, fine! Yale. Fine! Fine! Yale. fine. Yale. fine. Yale. 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 I said it's fine. Alright? I'll take you all wherever you want to go to. Me first. Taro, calm down. Go to the back. Eh? Get the I phone. go nowhere. If I go to that back, I will remove this again. What? You heard me say that I will remove this oh again. Oh my God, baby. For what? Baby. Baby. So what? For what? Why? I will remove the baby if I go to the back. Please do us all a favor. Remove it. Remove it. Ah, finally, she says something meaningful. Remove it. Remove it, my darling. Yeah. Finally, yeah. you marry somebody with sense. See, I will not sit at the back. Huh? I will never sit at the back. Well, I'm not even sitting in this car with them. They are trekking to wherever they are going to. Get down. Get down. Yes, I said, get down. I said, I'm done. 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 And you think it's worth it? Listen, you're carrying his child, girl. 
You are not going anywhere. You will stay in that house and fight for what is rightfully yours. That is exactly why I'm here. I will not have this child and bring him up all by myself. Jethro got me pregnant. He got married to me. Hmm. He must fulfill all his promises to me. He doesn't have a choice. Can you imagine? Really? So with all the promises he made and the things he did, he already had two wives. Why are men like this? Sis, since he has decided to bring trouble upon himself, he should deal with it. Okay, you are not leaving. You will stay there and fight for what is yours or you die trying. Exactly, Daryl. I will have to fight for what is mine. You know, I've been looking forward to get close to you so I can ask you for questions. Questions about my sister? About you. About me? What is it about me? I see the way you look at me when I'm with your sister. And I sense you like me. Come on. You're with my sister. But you like me. No, you're with my sister. You know, I feel terrible when I see someone who likes me, and yet I do not do anything about it. Don't flatter yourself, Jethro. Don't, don't get it twisted. I'm just um, a bit, you know, It's better you don't open your mouth and lie. Because you're prettier when you're quiet. I feel like a witch right now. Like I feel like the devil himself. I'm married to your sister. Why do you feel that bad? She is my sister. My only sister. And I do not belong to her. Listen. I like you. And I know you like me too. And we are both adults. So why don't you just lose now? You, 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 my, you're dating my sister. Let's have fun. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Hold up. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, there. Let me see you. Hey, there. Hi. Ah. Wow. Nice place. Thank you very much. Very nice. This is where I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> nice place indeed. Yeah. So, why do you invite us over? What's going on? Um, I'll tell you what's going on. Oh my God. No, 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 no. No. Is this what I'm thinking? Of course, yes, it is. <laughs> what you thinking? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. But, um, is it not too fast? You know, I'm a man of few words. Sometimes it's better when things are done in a rush. I mean, it gives you the luxury of time not to think, but the world. 
So right here, right now, I'm humbly asking you to be my wife. Let's spend forever together. You know, I've been with Kelvin for five years and I didn't gain anything. It's not how far, but how well. Okay. <laughs> of course, it's a yes. Okay. Okay, I have to record this. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting married. Of course, we are getting married. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, oh, okay, you, you both should stop it. Ah! Oh, okay, it's too much, but I'll still have to record. <laughs> Let me see. Getting married. Wow. We are getting married. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, kiss again. Uh, no. I, I need to just no. give me a kiss, <laughs> kiss, oh, kiss again. Oh yeah, more like it. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations. Why? Why are you engaged? You engaged my sister, yet you're asking me silly questions. Is that why you're angry? Shouldn't I be? No, answer me. Should I not be angry? Listen, I'm going to marry your sister. But that does not mean I will not marry you. Do you hear yourself talk? And how do you intend to do that? I'm an African man. I have the right to marry as many wives as I want. All right? You know why? I love you. Okay? So when the time is right, I'm going to make you my wife. Do I look stupid to you? Do I look stupid to you? What exactly do you take me for? I will never promise a woman marriage if I do not mean it. What are you saying exactly? I'm saying I'm going to make you my wife. Is that a promise? I cross my heart. I wish to die. I will marry you. Hey, no, 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 not now. Mm -mm. Don't, don't touch me. I said not now, no, not, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, not right now. husband oh my husband he said someone died though and he traveled for the burial but he promised to get back to me he said someone died yeah just like that he left who does that i mean you just got married huh, that i get but what can i do he said he had to go alone but he promised to get back. I just hope and pray he gets back like Can you yeah. hear yourself talk? He said, I mean, what is wrong with you going with him to a burial? This is supposed to be your honeymoon. Why? I don't know. I don't get it. You don't get what? Muna I mean, I don't understand. Why are you getting all worked up? She been not my problem. Yes, but I see no reason why he should just leave you. And travel. He did not leave me. He traveled for a burial. Please, I trust my husband. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I trust him. Why are you getting all... Uh, why are you drinking Panadol on my headache? It's okay. It's nothing, actually. I, I just... It's just that I care about you. Mm. 
For your information, I am happily married. Okay? Married! And I trust him. I know. Mm. Please, let's go inside. What is all this? I am worried about you. Can't I have you said see? zip that worry. I'm okay. Let's go inside. Can you imagine? I've been trying and trying and trying to reach him all to no avail. His phone is not connecting in any way. So what are we going to do? I don't know. But come to think of it, we had a cut wedding in it. Yes. But no shorty from anywhere, including his family. Nobody. What? Oh, chill. But I remember something. Okay. He filled his company address. You mean at the registry? Yes. He filled his company address. At least that should be a way to. Yes. 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 So you, you we should go there. I think so. Okay. You mean we should go? No, no, don't, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. If, if you want to go with me, it's fine, but I don't want to be a bother I to you. I am going with you. Are okay? you sure? Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it is so sad. It is so sad to know that this is the kind of person you are. <laughs> I was such a fool, a very big one to have believed you. I know better now. And I will never allow my child to suffer this kind of injustice from you. Which is why you will never get to know of his existence. He is mine and mine alone. He's mine. <laughs> You're so evil. Everything's not a joy. If you're not totally grandma. Fighting because of a man? I have practically become a mad woman over here. I have left everything behind. I left my work as a doctor, left everything important just, just to make marriage work. The funny thing is, I met other women here. My life is on hold. I'm not finding this funny anymore, Grandma. I, honestly, I'm exhausted. I, I'm tired of this whole thing. Okay, Grandma, okay. I read you. Get thee behind me. Um, sweetheart, you are not eating. You know what? Let me feed my husband. Let me feed my husband. Let me feed my baby. Uncle, open your mouth. I'll burn you open your mouth and take food. Say you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. Since when? when? Came, Let me to make you marry wives. Auntie. Mm. I'm talking to my husband, yeah. so please. Hush. He's our husband. Oh shit! Hush, 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 hush. Fish brain. Oh, yeah. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't waste my time. Ah uh ah. -uh. Mm -hmm. Kill my husband for me. What's the meaning of this? Must you copy me? Must you copy me? Madam, copy, copy. 
What's that? Swallow Come on, swallow this. Stop, stop it. it! Please stop it! Swallow, are you going to swallow it? I said stop it! Open your mouth! What in the name of forcing of food is Open that? Open your mouth! Oh no, 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 no. You don't get to stop it. You don't get to stop it. You will eat this from sweet hearts. Just take your time. Yeah. Don't open your mouth. Don't open your mouth. Don't open, open it. your mouth. I said don't open it. Uncle, stop. Uh, hey, uh, auntie, stop it. Uh, uh, we enjoy this man. What, what in the name of nonsense is this? Behave yourself. You behave yourself. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Oh, you want to eat Open your mouth. No problem. Yes, honey. Oh, yeah. Your mouth, eat chicken. Eat. Eat. What am I gonna what, what is this nonsense? Open your mouth, my love. Eat now. Open I don't mouth. like bone. Eat bone. Open no. Mm. Hey, no wait. Nonsense. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Want to, uh, what? What in the name of? I want to take over. Is this? What is this? No. What is this? Oh yeah. Take chicken. Take chicken, Biggie Bella. You know you don't have energy. I will throw you out of this place. Somebody you know you are not strong. You are pregnant. Stop. You want to take. What, wants to boss. Take this chicken. Mm. Arrow. Caro, what is that? Right. my water. Leave him alone. Take chicken. You see that? Open oh, your mouth. Take. Ah, what, what is this nonsense? Oh, enough is enough. Rishi. Do you want to kill him? Oh, Rishi. What is this? Mm. Jetro. I will throw you. You know you're Jetro. I, I, I hope you're happy with your life. No, this is the life you envisioned for yourself, right? Enjoy. Eat this chicken. Eat it. Eat it. Nonsense, man. He has even finished the chicken, man. You are handsome, so good, but you are heartbreaker. Pleasure your mind, it gives you joy. You don't care about people, emotion. He's a player, he's a player. Engineer, everything's not a joy. If you're not totally a good way, he's a player, he's a player. Everything's not a joy If you're not total, then you move away He's a player Engineer Everything's not a joy If you're not total, then you move away Engineer Ooh. What is wrong with you? One more You don't care You don't think Before you act Something is Where are you going to? And who do you expect to take care of your pregnant wife? Was? Wobi? And where do you think you're going to? Hmm? You're going. My friend, get inside! Oh, think you can run away from your responsibility. Oh, my friend, get inside! What is wrong with you? One more. You don't care. You don't think. What a fool I can reach. Oh, take, take, take. take. Mm. Add this one, add this one. Mm -hmm. Why not take this? If I'm not mistaken, these are a list of items. Mm -hmm. Huh? Exactly, darling. Those are list of items we want. That's our demand. Oh, well, you are our husband. You're supposed to meet up to our needs. Uh, my needs in particular, that list. Everything on it. Uh, our what? needs. Where am I supposed to get money to get all of this? If I should buy all of this, I should be spending nothing less than three million naira. Exactly. Are you not our husband? You are our husband, and we are Oriacles, your wives. We are supposed to be taken care of. Ah, uh, yes. When you were marrying us, you didn't know you would take care of your wives. Nah, 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 honey, come on. He's only out. When was the last time you had a job? Open and close that. Was. When was the last time you had a job? We've been the one feeding you in this house, so it is time for you to do what makes you a man. Meet up with our needs. Yes, darling. 
Because I believe when you were busy marrying wives from every corner of the world, you had a plan on how to take care of them. Now is the time to activate that plan if you have it. Because you're going to take care of every one of us. Uh, yes, honey. It is not to put. Put. Put and shout, I'm the man. I'm the man. Now it's time to show that you are the man. Tell this young man not to come back to this house if he does not come back with those mm, demands. Better not come back. You know, everything on the list. You don't have money. You're driving. Don't you think it's high time you sold this car? Because I you never to... drive rich. How can somebody be this broke and be driving a car yeah, yeah, as yeah, big yeah, as yeah, this? You're, you're posing. Then get posing. Yeah, I'm posing. I'm the man. I'm no the man. Pocket. Carrying big car. The phone. Uncle, I it is time to show oh. who you are. I told him you oh, th think it's to marry wives? Yeah. Take care of your wives. If not, to go and wear pants to strike you. The wife never had a I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Don't bring don't my list. Don't, don't be my list. No, don't meet my demands. Mm. You will see Chris. You know, you, you, you didn't have this man. Mm. You didn't have this Chris. No, you brought out the beast. Hey. 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 I'm not treating you. The beast is not treating you. Oh, go and go strike you to wear pants. Oh, shit. To your heart parade. You are handsome, so good. But to your heart parade. Pleasure you want, it gives you joy. You don't care about people. Emotion is a player. Man, this one you're always parking in the street right now. I mean, you're always in my street. Do you live here? Are you now my neighbor? Bro, my life is a mess right now. My life is a total mess. Well, congratulations. You, you own all the credits. My wife's are after my life. I mean, they, they gave me a long list of items to buy. And they told me I shouldn't bother coming back home if I do not buy everything in those lists. Bro. God, I'm tired. <laughs> you shouldn't be, bro. And buy it. What are you waiting for? You're capable now, bro. You know, I don't understand you sometimes. Are, are you are you with me or against me? What, I what? am for the truth. I mean, you don't expect me to support all the things you've done. Like gathering a lot of women and getting married to them. What is wrong with you, bro? I mean, what is your problem? Do you not know that marrying one woman comes with a lot of responsibilities, let alone marrying three? Three wives, Jethro. Of course, I assume by now you should have, you know, put yourself together as a man and get ready for the responsibilities ahead because there are a lot of tasks ahead. Steve, I give up. All right, I give up. I'm tired. This is not the life I visioned for myself. I never plan to get scared of my, my house someday. I, I, I don't want to be scared of my own life. I mean, I'm tired. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. You don't need to give up, man. Hmm? This is the life you choose. You know, it's a thing to envision a life for yourself. And it's another thing to overcome the temptations that come from diverting to the life you envisioned. But you chose this life, so live with it. Um, Steve, uh, I was actually packed here to know if I can um, get some money from you. Even if it means uh, leaving this car with you <laughs> for some time. <laughs> huh? mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, fine. I will give you some money to take care of yourself and do whatever you want. But for my money to go into that list of yours, I will not do it. Never. For real? Oh, for real, bro. I will not do it. I had somewhere going to. All right. Uh, at this point, I will leave you. See you later, Jethro. Hmm? So the man with the many wives. But you are <laughs> so, we got this. Look at the time. He's not yet back. From your faces, including mine, it's obvious we're all worried about him. Speak for yourself, Ray. 
Um, Cassie, actually, for the first time, I agree with you. We are all worried about you. So what do we do? <laughs> hey. But we asked him to go and look for money. Eh, maybe he has not gotten the money that we asked him to look for now. What do you want him to do? You and I know that this man doesn't have a job. We practically take care of him in this house. Where is the job he wants to go and look for? Eh? You want him to go and rob a bank? Look, I know the intention was to put pressure on him so he will realize his mistake. But for crying out loud, our actions might have psychological effects on him. Listen, we've been talking and talking and talking and talking about this, but we're not doing anything. Sitting down here and not doing anything will not solve it. So what do we do? Should we go out and look for him? You're right. Carol, please stay in the house. Let's go and look for our husband. Let us know when he comes, okay? Hmm. Oh, Carol, stay at home and wait for our husband. Why does it have to be Carol? Why does it have to be me? Uh, so that both of you can go out and look for him. When you find him, you go and enjoy with him without me. Come this girl. Are you always this stupid or is it seasonal? No, it comes and goes. Because every time you open your mouth, you talk like a child. Like someone without brain. And that, 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 that happened with him. We are talking about a missing man. A man we've not seen for, 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 for a whole day. Going out to look for him, you're talking about going to have fun. Yo, 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 no, 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 a minute. So you think if we want to have fun with our husband, we have to take permission from you? You see that thing like butter in the center of your head, one corner of your head, that's supposed to make you think. Use it. Don't eat bread with it. It says it's it's called brain. Use it. Just continue to Please, my darling, let's go. At least for the first time, yeah. I see who has sense in nice, this house. Nice people, stupid girl. Look at them. Love the dog. Go rest Look at her pregnancy like school. Uh, jealousy. It's easy. If you don't, you can't run now. No sense. You want to go and look for one stupid man. Is that me my point? If it's not working out, walk away. If you've tried all you can and he's still not moving as we planned it, walk away. Walk away for because of your mental health. <sighs> I know. But sometimes love is not enough. Okay? You just have to let go so that everyone can rest. You've tried. All right, no problem. Talk to you later then. Okay. Oh, God. He's awake. Jetro is easy. Relax your back here. Relax. Oh my god. Thank god. Ah, you scared the living daylight out of all of us. We thought we lost you. So, if the both of them hadn't gone out to look for you, nobody would have known that anything bad had happened to you. Tired. I'm sick and tired of living like this. I know what I did to all of you was wrong. Totally unacceptable. But please. I'm begging you all right now. Spare my life. Spare my mental health. Because I'm losing it. 
I am willing to do anything you all want me to. Just to get my mental health back, please. Please. We are all victims of the same man. And why we have decided to fight ourselves instead of fighting the person who has put us through this mess is what I don't understand. But rather we have been busy destroying ourselves, competing with ourselves, fighting ourselves over a man who does not value us. And now I'm beginning to wonder for what reason is it worth it? Exactly. We women were supposed to stand for each other. We're not supposed to fight ourselves. A man is using our heads and we're falling for it. What do we stand to gain from all this? It doesn't make any sense at all. Which is why I have made up my mind to leave this house today. I am tired of this mess. I am tired of this whole charade and I am done with. I'm not against polygamy. But what I do not understand in this whole bohaha is your reason for doing all this. Revenge. Revenge? Yes. What do you mean by revenge? Some years back, I met a girl called Chizuba. I fell in love with her. I loved her so much. I saw her through school and also took care of her family. When she was done with school and started working already, at the point I, I was exhausted because I spent everything I had on me, on her and her family. I proposed to her. But then she refused. She said I was not man enough. I wasn't her kind of man. I was not the kind of man she dreamt of spending the rest of her life with. I was broken. And I swore to make women suffer for what you put me through. I'm so sorry it had to be you all. But notwithstanding, I love you all differently. Jethro, you are the most stupid man I have ever seen on planet Earth. I am going to leave this house. Leaving today too. Yes. Thank you. As you can see, I am. So you're finally going to your sister's place, I presume. Mm -hmm. And you? 
I'm going to my friend's place. From there, I will pick up my life. Well, hard luck. Hard luck to you too. Ah! Are you Are okay? You okay? Follow me to the labor room immediately. I'll do it. No, I am hey. a certified doctor. Mm. Are you going to stand here and question me or go into the labor room with me? <laughs> Jokes apart, I know we don't agree on so many things, but this is life matter. We're talking about someone's life. Are you sure you are a certified doctor? I am a certified doctor. I don't understand why you're questioning me. Why not come here with me and find out yourself of a zealous human being? Uh, 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 uh. Don't go there. Don't go there with me. It's just you and I. You and I for this whole world. Just you and me. Yeah. You did not. Okay, okay, I'll be over there today. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I want to take the distance of your baby. Okay. Sure. 
What's the baby's name? Arrow. His name is Hero. He's my hero. Arrow. And your name? Stephanie Donald. Okay. Your father's name? I am my son's mother and father. Put my name in both places. Okay. Thank you, sister. Remember his name, man. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry for deceiving you. I'm sorry for bringing you down here and everything you had to go through. I'm sorry. I regret all of my actions and I sincerely wish you stay. Well, Jethro, I, I bear no grudge against you. I was angry with you, but not anymore, because I realized I was losing myself in the process. I can't be you. And I cannot be who I want to be because of how I feel. So it's fine. I have to leave. Are you divorcing me? It's for the good of everybody. I'll get the papers ready and sign them. I will also send yours to you so you can sign. Please, endeavor to sign the papers so we can set each other free. Amanda is staying. You have your other wives. All right, I will always come and visit. But I'm sorry, I cannot be your wife. Please, for a change. Do right by them. You are handsome, so good. But you are the rain. Pleasure your mind. It gives you joy. You don't care about people. Emotion is a player. It's a player. Everything's not a joy. If I not to turn the book on he's a player. Who is it? Engineer. Everything's not a joke. If I not to turn the book on he's a player. Engineer. Everything's not a joke. If I not to turn the book on Engineer. What is wrong with you? Don't care, you don't think before you act, something is wrong. Somewhere, something is wrong. Somewhere, he's a player, he's a player. Never is not a joke. If I'm not a turn the book, he's a player, he's a player. Welcome. It's good you came back. If you cannot handle the heat, you get out of the kitchen. I'm just pained that that I left him. But it's okay. It is what it is. Thank you for taking my advice. I'm happy about that. All will be fine. You are handsome, so good. But a liar and hot record. He's a player. Everything's not a joke. If I not to turn the book, he's a player. He's a player. Everything's not a joke. If I not to turn the book, he's a player. He's a player. Everything's not a joke. If I not to turn the book, he's a player. He's a player. Everything's not a joke. If I not to turn the
I was not expecting to see you guys here. I only came to see Cairo and my... my child. My son. My son. My darling son. Hey. Say hello to daddy. He's just like me. Listen, this will be the last time you ever see, touch, or feel this baby. When he's old enough, he'll decide whether you're his father or not. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm truly sorry. All of you, uh, I want you all to forgive me, please. 
please. Get you. Can't you say it's too late to apologize? See what you brought upon yourself. You think you were smart, trying to get it all. Now you're going to end up alone, frustrated, and you're going to die lonely. Get out. I said, get out. Listen, in your next life, if there is, you will learn to forgive and not take revenge. Get out. Out! You are handsome but gentle, but your heart break. You are handsome but so good, but your heart break. It's a very special day. Are they one? Hey! No, no! You called. What are you doing with the gun? Hey! Richard, stop, stop! Richard, what are you doing? Hey! And they can forgive. But I will not forgive. Now with the gun.
words from your mouth are sweeter than honey. Engineer, on no give you sugar, sugar. Oh, boy, you're not a good man. An engineer that prefers so much blood. 